Welcome, movie watchers. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the new vampire Netflix film, Night Teeth. A college student moonlighting as a chauffeur picks up two mysterious women for a night of party hopping across LA. However, when he discovers their bloodthirsty intentions and their dangerous shadowy underworld, he must fight to stay alive. Night Teeth is a bit of a mixed bag for me. There is a lot of things I did appreciate about this film, but a lot of things I found to be quite frustrating. We have Megan Fox in the film, briefly. Debbie Ryan plays one of the main characters alongside Lucy Fry. And so a lot of this movie honestly is just driving this college student who is also working as a chauffeur at nighttime picks up these two girls they're wild they're bloodthirsty and he takes them to certain places uh, and eventually walks into what they are doing and learns that they are vampires a lot of it is driving and so it's a lot of downtime but with that downtime there is a chance to kind of understand these characters the chauffeur, the two young women, their backstory, their motivations, all of that happens when they are driving. And I did like how it was shot and how calm it did feel when they were driving at nighttime through the city of LA at night. Uh, whenever I used to go to the club when I was younger, uh, I would, when I was the designated driver, I loved to drive around the city at night, turn the music to a certain volume and just enjoy the city lights. As I was watching Night Teeth, I enjoyed those moments. The night lights of LA, just casually driving, those moments I did enjoy. And I learned a lot about these characters along the way. But there is some significant downtime and there's a lot of uh, lore behind these vampires in different sections of LA and control over the sections. And I think that they just did not dig deep into that. I felt like they wanted it to be more of a casual film when they had this story brewing throughout the movie that that could have had a lot of potential to be a really just a crazy violent film but it just did not go that route it just didn't dive deep into the story that they wanted to present having this chauffeur trying to fight for his life these two young women stopping at different places to do what they do and we have this story kind of brewing throughout. We have these other characters that they mentioned throughout the film. They have these little flashbacks. They have these little side stories going on. It never feels like it amounts to much. And it all feels like a bit of a letdown. When you look at the overarching story throughout the film, you feel like it is letting you down and it's not developing enough to actually care about it. And then we have these two young girls and they start to kind of throw these emotions at us. Uh, they start to act a little more like humans and they care for people. Well, at least one of them does. And you're kind of on board with that. I feel like that starts to be a little more of a focus uh, towards the end of the film, especially when it comes to the chauffeur and uh, Debbie Ryan's character. Those moments I, I did enjoy because you learn a lot about these two young girls and the chauffeur throughout the film. So anytime that they focus on those characters, you're more interested in then what's happening throughout the film. And what's happening throughout the film, uh, these little sections that's going on throughout LA and the vampires, I just did not care about that at all. And unfortunately, towards the end of the film, they try to tackle on a lot of it with all the other characters. That's when Megan Fox's character comes into play. And I just wasn't invested as I thought I should. I feel like from the beginning to the end, I feel like I should have been a little more invested, but I just wasn't. I just did not care. I just didn't care much about what was happening throughout the movie. But when it came to the three young people in the film, that's where I felt most invested in the movie. And that's when I cared most about it. Uh, at times the film can be a little bit bloody when it comes to the vampire moments and sinking your teeth into people. Those moments were very bloody and entertaining as well. But there's a lot of chill moments, a lot of driving, a lot of talking and trying to escape and the two young girls are right there to stop you. I found myself very calm watching the film. I don't think I should have felt that way. Driving through the night in LA, uh, I thought was, you know, very soothing to me. Um, I don't think I should have felt that way about watching this film, but that's how I felt. So Night Teeth uh, has some decent acting. I really like Lucy Fry and Debbie Ryan together. They have really good chemistry at times. 
the film calls for them to be really crazy and fun and it's really there and at times it calls for them to be a little more emotional and personal and i like those moments they definitely are great in the film and benny who is the chauffeur uh is very hesitant about a lot of things and worried for his life and his reaction to everything is exactly how i would feel in the movie there was things that worked there's things that i just did not care much about and that's how i overall felt about the film so before I give you my final score for the movie, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give Night Teeth a C plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Night Teeth. Have you guys seen it on Netflix? what do you think about it? Let me in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.